Hello everyone and welcome to Beacon Pines. Now this is a video game sort of based in the storybook. Now as far as I've read from the description, as the story progresses you're writing your own storybook using cute little animals that run around in their own little storybook world and as you progress in this world you find words which can be used to alter the narrative of this storybook that we're looking right at right now. So. Let's start the game and see what's what. Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, it conclude its conclusion is not yet your known even to myself. So like I was saying before, it looks like we will continue the story, filling in gaps and different words which will change the fate of the story. Now this is an early access title, which is still more or less a demo, so we'll see how it goes. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter 1 Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pine. The name of the game. Far from the town square across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh. Is this us? Are we the main character? His name is Luke Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he is here for a reason. Whoop. WASD, alright. Have a look. Hey, Dad. The morning light filtered through the trees onto the gravestone. How are things going? Gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. I feel like that should mean something. Mum always said that this tree was your favourite spot in the whole world. Me too. Hey Luca. Rolo was Luke's closest friend. Luca's closest friend. I knew I'd find you here. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtly was not one of them. And after I checked the pond and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rollo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh yeah, right. You and your mum always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mum's gone to Brutal. He's not gone. He's just missing. Sorry, I mean to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Roll. Of course she is. Mmm, probably not. Okay, Dad. See you next time. Now also in this game I think it is possible to die quite horribly, so let's see how many of those we can find. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Can we explore? Ah, oh, I like the animation how it's all hand drawn. Tickle. Hmm, okay. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened the book. Opened my book. 
A charm is very special for him. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. His purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Alright. Okay, so different actions lead to new words being discovered. Okay. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. You know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valiant building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since before the foul harvest. Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Roland. We would. Wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. What do you expect to find there? Answers. My mum's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, though, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I've got your back. Thanks, Rolla. Now that I think about it, walking around in the decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I wanted to spend the first day of summer. Alright, can we run through here? Under the shade of an old straw hat, the scarecrow held a knowing smirk. One of its button eyes had been pecked out by a rash crow, creating the impression of an eternal wink. Anything else here? Nope. Piggies! Come here. Okay, inspect. Hey, Jack. Morning, Jill. Salutations, Dr. Hosfair Ferent, the third. Alright. Continue on to the next page. Alright, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand smells kind of funny. So yourself, I won't be long. What else is around here? <laughs> there has to be something else here. I wouldn't just leave it completely open, would it? Oh, wait. No, he just leans on it because he's... Ah, okay, sunglasses, so he's just playing cool. Alright, anything else? Okay, straight in. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember the charm you found in the dan dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They have been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Let's go! Can we burn ourselves in the fire? Nope. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept the warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Da -da -da. Can we run? Nope. Small walking. Okay. What do we get? Wandering. Alright. Cool. Yep. The drawer was packed with his dad's old baseball card collection. An urge to collect things was passed on to Luca. Mm -hmm. Sofa. Since Graham had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Graham's got to do what Graham's got to do. Right, Graham's probably in the kitchen now. Alright, let's wander around and see what else we can find. Just some dusty knickknacks. 
Grand's not in the kitchen. What blasphemy is this? Oh, wait. Okay. Oops, something has gone wrong in here. Oh. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I have been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. You can use the various charms you've collected to alter events and thus completely rewrite the fate of Beacon, of Beacon Pines. This is no small thing. So step forward, dear reader, and grasp hold of destiny itself. On the other hand, I suppose there's no reason to rush things. Dan will be waiting when you return. Because we have to search the house for other potential words. A pair of bell scissors and a broken can opener. A mostly empty bottle of glue and some loose string. Okay, junk. Okay, so we'll go around and collect all the words first, just before we have some, you know, major plot point. Just to be on the safe side. Anything? Nope. Okay. We'll hurry upstairs and see if we can find anything else. Yep. Look up was that his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Yeah. Emma had com commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Hide. Okay. Right. So they sleep in the same room. Weird. Look at Ost on his favourite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Chill. Gamma moved in, moving in meant that most of Lucas' things had been crammed into the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Nope. Uh, yep. Gamma's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. There we go. Oh, I think we've gathered all the words that I can find so far, but I think we should be alright to continue with this. And maybe turn the tap off before we flood the house and it all goes horribly wrong. Quick save? No. Hey Gran, I'm going to hang with Rowan for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rowan heading exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. We're... We were just gonna... Love. For you. For the day. Okay, so we have to make up something. Ponder... Hide. Chill. Ponder? Let's go with ponder. Ponder for the day. We're just going... We were just going to go ponder for the day. Oh really? How are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Ah, uh, you know. Big stuff. Small stuff. Medium. Mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. This is the power of charms. A simple word can change the course of history. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The, 
chronicles a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. <clears throat> At any time, you can use the chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Alright, so we can backtrack, it's not set in stone permanently. This conversation with Gran seems innocent enough. The perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Grand jury. Okay. We are just going to blank for the day. Chill. Chill for the day. We are just going to chill for the day. Best lines are built on the truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. I'll make sure you are done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Nice. Alright. Oh. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Anything else? Can we... Nope, just tells us to get lost. Anything else in the garden? <laughs> oh, holes. In the short time since her arrival, Gran had set about remaking the garden. The wild bushes Luca spent his childhood playing in had been replaced by patches of fresh soil. Okay, so I should plant in there. Okay. Oh, whoops. Left the fridge open this entire time. My dad would be raging if he saw such things. Right, so we just bail out the front. I don't think there's anything else here left for us, so... Out we go. Okay, where'd he go? He went down the way, didn't he? Come on, come on. Woo, and such. Dang it, Rolo. For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand, grand than necessary. Yeah, it's pretty out there. Alright, so here's the village. Oh, here's something we can do. Lean against it, be all cool like. Okay, no achievements. Up this log, bush. Just trying to go around and see if there's anything hidden away here we can use at a later date. Talk to the pig. Can you get in the house? Nope. Nothing else? Okay, let's talk to the pig. Nope. Just like, can you annoy him until you. Nope. Nothing at all. Can push this kid in the river. Hey, Luca. Looks like you guys are in a hurry. I'm just keeping an eye on my boat. The SS Merry Times. Okay, nothing interesting there. Go on, Andy. Grab his wallet. Jesus. I'm sorry. Iggy, I can't. Yes, or we'll pound you. Yep. Yeah, but my mum said. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Bloody hell, this is getting brutal. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but. I'd be a freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. Dish. Hopefully there's a way we can resolve that situation and give that brick he's just deserves. Oop. Too far. I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on, I'll catch up. Okay, I've got to find some memories to sort that situation out. Alright. Oop, I go that way. Hey, this is Nelson. Morning, look. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You'd be safe now. This hatchet could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in the book to be distracted. Two wandered down the wooden path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh, oh, this is getting good. Did 
the beacon. The beacon beacon. Alright. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day have, have in store for you? What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about news? The beacon beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? No. Nope. Very good journalism right there. Oh. Roll thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm, Roll ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The wind of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. Change. Alright. Nice. Okay, can we go in here? Oh, we can jump. What fresh hell is this? Oh, look. Just the fella I was looking for. Hey, Roxy. What's up? All right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. First time where you, where your charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicles once we find more charm. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my idiot brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well... Not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say. Or won't say. Come on, Roxy. Would I lie to you? Oh. Look, I wait up. I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. Oh, good job, pal. This is one of her favourite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. We need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. Wah wah. Why aren't you doing that turning thing with your body? What? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And stupid. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? Don't mind me. Just over here, lurking. Uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also, couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Must have flipped my mind. Thanks for letting me know. Anyway, Luca, and I have places to be. So if you don't mind, oh, I do mind, I'm going to catch hell again. I'm going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and feed those chickens, or I haul you home myself. Rolo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little blank. Chill. Chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining, and we just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Papa always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Aw, oh, rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! So fits. What are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that was a subtle rejection. Alright. Duke Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do on his own. Duke Valentine. A bit much, if you ask me. 
All right, so everything else around here looks like it's closed off. Can we go in here? Nope. All right. Let's bail along this way and head to the Valentine place and see what happens. Whoop. What's this? Kip's hardware went out of business over a year ago. The building has sat vacant ever since. This Novak's bookstore was often closed until after lunch. Rummaging through the dusty piles of books was one of Luca's favourite ways to kill time. Hmm, but it doesn't look like that's an option. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, mister. None cred. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserver. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Yeah, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her, ja her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. I promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, got to go. Run away from the creepy man. It's sweeter than any jam on earth. Oof. All right, pal. I just run along this way. Phone booth. The phone booth was brand new. Part of the town beacon and reborn initiative. Phone booths. Fair enough. I didn't see much use. Of course. Okay. Alright, up this way then. Okay, so I'm a beehive. Mm, can't do much. Can't. Oof. Okay, so it's into the forest or that's it. Still don't have any other options, do we? Nah. Okay. Let's continue with the story and see where it leads. Ooh, this doesn't look good. The path left into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Now that just seems bad. Okay, I'm turning back now. You could always turn back. It's always an option. We can just go home, chill with Grandma, we'll have some of our jam on some toast, chill with Rolo, calm down that crazy sister of his. Then you can chat up that lassie from the alleyway that you're totally into, but she rejected you. Get a nice sweater on, get a brighter colour, give her some toast and jam. Sorted. Well, alright. Let's jump into the hall and hopefully not die. Caution. Electrical fence. Is that sign new? Fence thumbed. Thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rollo do if he was here? Look at often asked himself, what would Rollo do? What Rollo would do. So that he could roll out that option. I'm definitely not touching that then. Yep. Okay, we picked up something. I mean, can we just run in? Can. Okay, we're just collecting stuff. Nope. A spark flew from the fence. Light atop the section shut off. Ah, oh, so we shorted it out. Two bulbs remain. Ah, oh, okay, so we've got to chuck stuff at the fence. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, we'll short at the fence and then we'll go up the way and see what else we can discover. Uh, okay. The fence buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, I just go straight in. I can't control it. 
Never cared in the town knew the, the old Valentine fertilizer building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Ooh. Okay, so Roland wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There was only one way to find out. Alright. Whoa, that smells awful. Too bad Roll is not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. Oof, he's meant to be your pal. Man oh man. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. The water looked almost diseased. A glowing sludge gathering blobs at the surface. It flowed slowly into the woods. Ooh, we're gonna find like mutated animals or some really messed up stuff. I go that way around. No, okay. Just for the door. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sound coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper. Footsteps. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Ooh. Hello? Uh oh. Zero two nine. Shit. Oh well, we learned a new word. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It hung, it lunged towards him, he tried to scramble away. But felt a glove, and a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave tracks in the dirt. As the hand slowly dragged him back through the door into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. Or change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? Ooh. Oh, that's our only option. Okay, so we can backtrack and change our response with the sister. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> Make a break for it. This is madness. Did that little shit just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerp. You gotta come back home eventually. Look at my boil. Hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. McCred. Kinda in a rush right now. Thank God we get to avoid that conversation. Sigh. Boy's good too much of his father in. Alright. So far, this is pretty good. Mm. Little help. Mm. I mm. am the champion. We were racing. Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here? It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. I'm not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has the sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we going to get around an electric fence? Hmm, I wonder. 
Don't worry, I've got this. Why do you do that? That always says you can figure out the plan. Figure a plan. You can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great, one now. Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'm supervise. I'll supervise. From a safe distance. Right. I just want to have a peek up here and see what is up here in this corner. But it seems it goes off. Oh, no. No, it doesn't actually. I assume that there's something else up here, but I guess we must double back at some point in the story back to this location. Okay, and we just bop it same as before. Well, you're a genius. It's almost like we've done this before. Nice. You never fail to impress. Alright. Now we just run as the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view. Roller began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. Dang, Rolo. We weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two crack detectives are on the case. Alright. This is crazy. This is awesome. Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. No dice, it won't budge. I'm tempted to prove you wrong. I don't want to embarrass you. Oh well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itchy. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rolo. It would be my honour to throw you in the trash. Come on, lucky lady. Lady Luck. Oh, damn. So... What's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Whoa. Hang on, there's more. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie talkies? Just like Hank, uh, Hank Atomic communicators. Do these actually work? Grand Commander Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic. Grand Command, you're coming in five by five. How, um. How are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Request assistance. For you back. Help is on the way. Oh, is that the guy? What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. A body. Oh man, don't tell me it's the mum. Oh, that's not good. The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm, there's no reason to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rolo, 
calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude. I am not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime covered hand would be in here? Ah! Ah! I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right. We've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. We're not going to get it. Flaming chicken coat. Flaming chicken coop. Okay. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to a hundred. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rollo. Yeah. I'll give you credit. We sure found an eventful way to start our summer. Eventful start to our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sounds of Roland's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, strained to hear Roland's footsteps as they ran away and faded away. 15, 16, 17. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. 35, 36, 37. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough. Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rolo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting towards home as fast as he could. Beacon pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open and storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 2 Finding a Friend Okay, so that's uh, the end of chapter 1, so we'll leave that here and we'll continue in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe for more content like this.